Welcome. My name is Sean Jones, and I'm the CEO of the iNaturopreneur Network. And today I have with me Carrie Kelly. Carrie is one of our community members. She's an entrepreneur, and she is one of our author contributors in the upcoming book, Art of Connection, which is coming out on February 17th, 2021. Carrie, thank you so much for being here with me today. Thank you so much for inviting me. I'm so happy to be here. It's very exciting. It is. This This has definitely been a project um, with so many different authors like yourself coming together to, to speak to the hearts and directly to other entrepreneurs. Carrie, share with us a little bit, though, about who you are, what you do, and how you're making a difference in the world. Well, I'm Carrie Kelly, and I'm from a little town in central Illinois, um, but um, lucky enough to be part-time Arizona girl, so that's a really nice thing, get out of the winter. Um, what I've always been the last 30 years is a mom, stay-at-home mom, so I've been a wife, mom, and now I'm a fur mom to two little Yorkies, Ruby and Finn. Um, our son is grown. He's a firefighter EMT, so he is out on his own, so a few years ago, I thought I want to do something fun for me. I love being creative. I love decorating, jewelry, design. So I started um, working with Initial Outfitters, which is all things monogrammed and personalized. And that kind of blossomed into my love of interior decor. And I, um, this past year, was certified in interior redesign. So I take what you have and just make it better. You don't need to spend a fortune to change things out. Just a few simple things can really make a difference. So I'm just kind of getting now that my children are grown, getting to do what I love to do. Well, I've seen what you do in your own home and, you know, the tips and tricks that you use to take what people have and just make them look even more spectacular on so many different levels. And you definitely have a talent for what you do. Um, just love it. Carrie, Thank now, you. was this the first time you've ever been in a collaboration book or have you written other books on your own? No, this was the very first one. Yeah. Well, I, your quote, I, I love it. I'm going to read it here in just a moment. Now that you have your feet wet with this first book, knowing your, your talents that you have, do you think you'll be writing any other books? You know, I wouldn't mind collaborating again. I actually enjoyed it. I mean, in high school, I was on the yearbook staff, the newspaper staff, all those things, and then just really had nowhere to put any of that. So it just kind of sat on the back burner for so long. And it took me a while to come up with what I wanted to write and put it into words. But once it kind of got going, it just it just kind of flowed. And I really enjoyed it. It, it was a lot of fun. And just, you know, something short, it was nice. I enjoyed doing it. When you heard that we were coming out with the book, Art of Connection, what, what was your inspiration? What was your why to say, this is, this is for me, I need to be in here? Well, I thought I'm, I'm doing my own business too. And there's so many of us out there that are running our own businesses and we don't know each other and we just need to be able to connect with other people. I mean, there could be people contributing in the book that are close to where I live or People, it could be other friends. I didn't even realize they were contributing to the book until I actually get to see a copy and read it. And I thought it's just a good way for a group of people to come together and inspire each other too. I mean, this past year has been difficult for everyone and it's just nice to read something that's inspiring and people that understand what an entrepreneur is thinking and how we do things a little different too than just going to the office every day. Many, most of us are working from home. So it was just... I thought it would just be something a lot of fun to do and getting to do it with friends makes it even better. <laughs> I love it. Now, Carrie, your quote comes out on July 2nd in the book and you wrote your world will shift personally or professionally. And what may seem like a roadblock can actually lead you to stop, step back and create a new path for yourself and your dreams. When you were writing this quote, what was what was going through your mind? What's your why behind it? Well, it was during all the pandemic. And, and before that, I mean, we've all been guilty rushing around from here to there. And we're working our business, but we're doing a little bit in a million different places. And, you know, I know me, I was running constantly and on the computer and just doing so many things. And I thought, 
it's time to kind of just step back and what is actually important? What do you want to do with your business? It's your business, so you can run it however you want. What's your focus? What do you want to shift it to be? And that's why I decided this is the time to go back and take some classes. You thought about it for so long and it's just time to just do it. And I'm, you know, I had the time to do it and to dedicate to it. And I thought we all go through things personally. I've been through some pretty tough things personally. You have to be able to get past it and see what's on the other side. And it was just something I thought, you know, it's it's time to change things up. And, and mm -hmm. I'd rather not be doing a million things a little bit and just do two or three things that I love doing and give it my all. And, and you can tell when somebody loves what they're doing and they're happy with what they're doing. And it was time for us to kind of stop running around and do something that makes us happy again. Very true. Very true. Now, the book was written by entrepreneurs like yourself for other entrepreneurs. What is the biggest piece of advice, your big takeaway that you want people to, to know that you want to share when they watch you? Well, the biggest thing is, like I said, do things that make you happy. I've had people telling me, well, you should do this with your business. You should do that. You need to change this. I think, but that's not what I want to do. I want to do things my way. And I have a vision for how I want my business to be and the look and the feel of it and the people that it might attract. And you just have, and you have to go with your gut. I mean, if, mm -hmm. you, if somebody's telling you something and you're like, that's just not for my business, it's not for your business. And then opposite, if you find something and you say, that is exactly the way I need to go, you need to follow it. It's just, you have to really go with your instincts because most of the time your instincts are going to be right anyway. We always say, you know, I always tell people you do your business your way. Yeah, very true. Carrie, if somebody would like to talk to you more about maybe how they too can write a book or, you know, the business that you have and the monograms and everything, the redesigns, how can somebody get in touch with you? Um, they could visit my website um, at www.carriekellydesigns.com. Wonderful. Carrie, I want to say thank you again for all of your support, for being there, being part of the book, taking time out of your schedule to be here with me today. Thank you so much. For those of you that are interested in getting your copy of the Art of Connection book coming out on February 17th, visit our website at 365 networkingquotes.com that's 365 networkingquotes.com we all are already working on our second edition to the book that will be coming out the end of 2021 if you're interested in also being in that book just click on the calendar tab select your date and you too can be here and share your knowledge and help future entrepreneurs <music>